Hello, my name is Shauna O'Neill and you are very welcome to this presentation for Junior Cycle Business Studies on the topic of conscious and sustainable consumption. In this presentation, our learning intentions, our understanding, the rationale as to why the topic of conscious and sustainable consumption was chosen and its significance for Junior Cycle students learning across the curriculum, a range of active and creative teaching, learning and assessment methods and resources, how key skills which underpin the Junior Cycle curriculum are incorporated in the topic of conscious and sustainable consumption, how to forge cross-curricular links and showcase a cross-curricular theme with other subject disciplines, and the potential challenges for post-primary students and teachers when working with the topic of conscious and sustainable consumption. The topic of sustainable consumption introduces the concept of how purchasing decisions impact on the world. It focuses on responsible purchasing and by analysing the production, consumption and disposal of everyday items, students will make connections between product choices and social, economic and environmental impacts. Through this experience, students will develop a sense of what it means to be an active citizen with rights and responsibilities in local and wider contexts. Students should be able to analyse the extent to which realising their needs and wants may impact on individuals and society. It will enable them to engage with the challenge of the sustainability of a consumer culture with excessive waste and the impact of consumerism on the environment. Reflecting on these areas will focus on the interdependent, connected nature of our world and aid questioning what our consumption means for other people and places. It explores the interdependence of economic prosperity, societal well-being and the environment and encourages students to think and act as responsible and ethical citizens. The topic allows for the development of skills, knowledges, attitudes and behaviours that allow students to make informed and responsible decisions with all of the resources available to them, ensuring their and society's well-being. Teaching methods should be active, stimulating and genuinely respond to students' real-life experience. A blend of teaching methodologies, such as cooperative learning, the use of visual resources and differentiated tasks will fully engage students. Learning should be facilitated in a way that reflects students' curiosity as people learn in different ways. To create an inclusive learning environment, it is necessary to combine traditional teaching methods with audio and visual presentations, handouts, interactive tasks and group work. The topic will be introduced by the teacher differentiating between needs and wants and then displaying a plastic bottle of water and discussing with the students what the bottle signifies in terms of each. A PowerPoint presentation will be used to display images in relation to the impact of unsustainable consumption and videos will be played with accompanying handouts for the students to complete. Students will be involved in group work to answer different questions regarding sustainable consumption and how it can best be achieved. Whiteboards can be used for a quiz at the end of the class to check their understanding of the issues and homework will involve viewing a video and researching a company that is doing its bit to help sustainable consumption. The topic of sustainable consumption provides a rich context for the development of the key skills grounded in the framework for Junior Cycle. It can facilitate the development of the skill of managing information and thinking by allowing students to develop a good understanding of the key issues surrounding sustainable consumption and the actions needed to bring about change. For communicating, Students will debate the sustainability issues that arise from their consumption of goods and services and evaluate how they can contribute to sustainable consumption through their consumer behaviour. The skills of being creative and working with others can be achieved by students working in groups to design a mini project to highlight the problems of unsustainable consumption and discover what might be done to support more sustainable approaches locally. The skill of staying well 
by demonstrating enhanced knowledge and understanding as to how to contribute responsibly to society and managing myself is incorporated by students using digital tools to develop video or social media networks in order to take meaningful social action. Junior cycle students should be encouraged to identify links between sustainable consumption and their everyday life. This will engage students and facilitate the linked learning process and bring the subject alive for them. They should be encouraged to connect what they are doing in other subjects and the similarities should be discussed with teachers and developed to enable the expansion of the core subject themes through cross-curricular linkage. The topic of sustainable consumption can be linked to a wide range of subjects, including geography in relation to issues of pollution and renewable energy, science for care of the environment, SPHE for conservation, English for reasoning and debating, religion in terms of ethics, home economics in the areas of consumer education and ICT. Each subject's curricular plan should be developed collaboratively for the provision of the best possible education for students. Sharing of good practice and cross-fertilisation of issues between teachers and the linking of multiple subjects enhances overall learning. The potential challenges for post-primary students when working with sustainable consumption are understanding the terminology, as some of it may be new to them, and terms need to be explained to enable understanding. The implications of sustainable consumption may be difficult to comprehend, and it needs to be explained in a straightforward, simple manner. Reflecting on needs and wants, and the challenges of scarce economic resources, helps focus on the interdependent, connected nature of our world, and aids critically questioning what consumption means for other people and allows students to engage with the sustainability of a consumer culture with excessive waste and the impact of consumerism on the environment. The potential challenges for teachers when working with the topic are keeping up to date with current issues. Using available resources and CPD would be of benefit. The teachers need to focus on the concept of responsible purchasing and by analysing the production, consumption and disposal of everyday items, students will be able to make connections between product choices and social, economic and environmental impacts. In this presentation, our learning intentions were the rationale as to why the topic of sustainable consumption was chosen and its significance for junior cycle students learning across the curriculum, the range of active and creative teaching, learning and assessment methods and resources in relation to sustainable consumption. How key skills which underpin the junior cycle curriculum are incorporated in the topic. How to forge cross-curricular links and showcase a cross-curricular theme with other subject disciplines. And the potential challenges for post-primary students and teachers when working with the topic of sustainable consumption. Thank you for your time.